mi vaca se llama Lola, Lola se llama mi vaca. Si no se llamara Lola, tal vez no fuera mi vaca. Hi everyone, welcome to another virtual story time. Happy New Year's! And as always for this new year, I have a new story for you guys. And our story is Library Mouse Home Sweet Home by Daniel Kirk. Sam was a library mouse. If you were to ask him his favorite things, he would surely say reading and writing. Sam was a storyteller and a dreamer and a love of, lover of words. But if you were to ask Sam's friend Sarah what her favorite thing were, she would say exploring and having adventures. Though they had different interests, Sam and Sarah were the best of friends. One night, the two mice were surprised to discover half-empty library shelves and boxes packed with books. Sam Hart was pounding as he climbed up onto the librarian's desk and read the papers he found there. Renovation, he, he said wearily. Sarah asked, what does that mean? Sam frowned as he went to the dictionary to see what the word meant. To make new again, he read out loud. So they're going to redo the library. But it looks perfect to me just the way it is. And if those plans are right, they're going to have to take it all apart before they can fix it. Where will we live while the work is done? The two of, the two of us will have to go exploring and find a new home, said Tara. In the library kitchen, Sarah led Sam into the dark space beneath the sink. There's a room in there for a couple of mice, he said. But the sound of running water in the pipe made Sam feel very nervous. Next, Sam and Sarah crept down the base, to the basement. Let's keep looking. Sam said with a shudder, eyeing a dusty old mousetrap in the corner. What about this, Sarah said, as they climbed up the creaky stairs to the library attic. Nobody ever comes up here. I can see why, said Sam, gazing into the shadows. There's too much space up here for there's too much space up here for me. I need a home that's a little cozier. Sarah said, Then you could build a house right here, Sam. Something just your size. That's a great idea, Sam said. I'm going to build the perfect house for a library mouse. And I'll build one too, Sarah said. A house for an explorer who has adventures. First, Sam and Sarah moved all their belongings up to the attic. I hope they haven't packed up the architecture book yet. Architecture? Sarah repeated. What's that? It's the art of designing buildings, Sam answered. And somebody who designed building is called an architect. Let's get going. We've got a lot of research to do. Sam and Sarah went back to the children's room and found the books they were looking for on top of a box. The books were filled with pictures of all types of buildings. This is the kind of thing I like, said Sam said, studying classical buildings from ancient Rome. And this book looks great to me, Sarah said, looking at a magnolia home called a yurt. The two mice gathered materials from anywhere and everywhere in the library. Then they hauled their supplies up to the attic and began making their new houses. Building was hard work. Sam used cardboard and tape for the walls. The tubes from the paper towel rolls for the columns. When he was finished with his house, he stood back and take a look. It's all right, Sam said. But it just doesn't feel cozy like home. I love my yurt, Sarah said. This isn't a perfect house for a library mouse, Sam said. 
Let's go back down to the children's room. Maybe I'll find something to get me inspired. A castle? Sam said, turning the pages of his book. You know what they say, a mouse home is, a ca is his castle. I don't have any stones, but I saw a package of marshmallows in the kitchen I could use for buildings. Oh, look at this igloo, Sarah said. I could make one with sugar cubes. And if we get tired of our new house, we can just eat them. Sam and Sarah spent many nights working in the attic, but during the day when they tried to sleep, the sound of hammers and saw drifted up from the library below. Finally, Sam finished his castle. It looks very grand, he said, and I'd feel safe in here, but it doesn't feel like home. Sarah said, you'll always be a library mouse, Sam, no matter what kind of house you live in. But as long as you keep building, I will too. There are so many kinds of houses to make. Over the next few weeks, Sam built a cottage with a thatched roof, a two-door style house, a bungalow, and a modern house. Sarah had fun making an acorn-shaped house from Bolivia, an earthen castle from Togo, a Vietnamese tilt house, and a space-age geodesic home. These houses would be nice for somebody, Sam said, but I haven't found the perfect house for a library mouse. Come on, Sarah said. What's wrong with the ones you build? Sam from. I miss my library. He went back to the children's room, hoping to look at the home more, at some more book about architecture. But he found a window taped over and the door sealed shut. Sam trudged back up to the attic. He wondered how he would ever feel at home again, like he, like he had his little toe beneath the children's reference book. At the top of the stairs, Sarah met her friend with a smile on, his fa on her face. Come look at what I made for you, Sam, she said. I found an old book in the corner. It's called an atlas and is full of maps. I stood it on, <laughs> I stood it on end and open it up and just like that I made you an A-frame house like a one I saw in the book. Wow, Sam said, lying on his back and looking up at the map that made the slanting walls of his new home. It's cozy and pretty, close to perfect. Thanks, Sarah. Sam loved his new house and he was very happy. But when he tried to go to sleep, he tossed and turned. With a start, he realized it was because the library was too quiet. There wasn't any hammering or pounding anymore. Later that day, Sam went down to get Sarah. I think they're finished working on the library, he said. Let's take a look. Sam gasped at the, night, at the sight of the new renovated library. It was truly beautiful and better than ever. There's just one thing, Sam said to Sarah. The next morning, when the children arrived, there was a sign that read, Home and where to find it. Along the top of the shelf was an array of houses from all over the world. They're like the display we had before, a child said. They make the library feel like home again, said another. And Sam and Sarah were the first to agree. Home and where to find it. Thank you guys for listening. Bye.